Hi, um, welcome back to another week uh, of all Belgian farm innovation. I would call this week when nothing goes as you plan. <laughs> we are. I should stop actually promising you something because it looks like I cannot fulfill my promises. <laughs> Uh, we planned that our roof uh, would, would be finished by the end of the week, but uh, it won't. Our con contractor, he had a contact with someone who had corona and he had to isolate himself for two weeks. So he would be able to start again only in, after the 6th of August. And I'm not sure when he will exactly start. So we are... It, the completion of the roof will be postponed a bit. But I would still tour you the roof because uh, it's almost finished from the top. I would just, uh, he just needs to place the isolation. And yeah, but uh, we, I also promised you that we will remove, uh, and myself, ourselves, that we will remove the ceiling, but I uh, also, because of this, we need to wait till he is done and then we will remove the ceiling. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, we will adjust. We are used to it. In software development, we call it uh, agile being agile, so let's be agile and adjust to their current second, second, circumstances, circumstances. <laughs> okay, so let me tour you the roof. So uh, this is our roof. From the outside we decided to keep uh, the same color as it used to be because we want to keep as it was to, to restore in the previous <laughs> glory and uh, we also looked for approximately the same shape of the tiles as it used to be and also the same color and I really like how it looks right now. From the facade we won't, we won't change anything. Uh, we will not place solar panels because we don't want to change the look uh, and the perception of the house from the from the street. But as you can see, we decided to place uh, the uh, four big windows that are looking our courtyard, and I'll tell you the story afterwards why we decided to place uh, four windows. The initial plan was uh, only two small ones. The, uh, the initial plan was just to place two small windows because actually we didn't want to use this space. Uh, we have pretty big house with uh, adjoining buildings that's gonna be our living room and it's, they are in total it's gonna be very big. But then we thought that okay, we are still till we are. Uh, we'll start on our second pro phase of the project. It will be like in five, six years, or seven, eight, till it will it will be finished, and we would need some actually place to work, to study, some common lounge area. And uh, then we, when we were taking down the roof tiles, removing the roof tiles, I was sitting exactly on this spot and these bags. <laughs> And watching Ilya, it was already in the evening, and I was watching how Ilya was, uh, yeah, making bundle chairs of these tiles. And I saw out of here, I saw the sunset. It was very beautiful behind the church, and I was like, Ilya, I think we need another window because. There is no other place in our in our courtyard where we can actually enjoy the sunset. It's the only place and you have such a nice viewer and the colors, it will be amazing. Let's try to talk to our contractor and to change the order. And I'm so grateful has that he was also very flexible, working agile 
like in software development and here it was it's well velux uh windows and it's yeah it's pretty easy to change uh, so he changed uh, the order and we ordered these big windows. They are just amazing. I'm so happy with our choice that we made it. Because the view out of here is just beautiful. <laughs> when it's sunset, the sun goes down behind the church. And you have a nice view uh, on the courtyard, on the fields behind. Also, Anike. Anike is enjoying the, the sun in the afternoon. There is Ilya. Ilya! Ilya! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So someone works when I'm talking, at least the work is being done. <laughs> As you can see, we have changed uh, the whole uh, wooden structure. Some of you mentioned that it looked pretty okay. But yeah, it was uh, still in a very good shape, but some of the beams, some of the planks were rotten. You were asking in the comments uh, why we are removing the roof completely and it looked pretty decent and indeed uh, for this age like 70 or 80 years old uh, it was uh, in good shape but still some of the beams as you can see here were rotten and some were eaten this was eaten and you'll see so they were not good yes see <laughs> the whole I don't know a town was built here <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. Also, um, also it was yeah quite a lot of um, bed tiles. It's like cra cracked, yeah. cracked, 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 and uh, yeah, that and started. So, and also, you can show it's better how yes. this fix it. Just a moment, I'll take off my gloves. Oops. <laughs> So uh, we noticed, I yeah, checked uh, how they fix the gutter. Before it was a wooden one, but it started to rot and probably, or yeah, they painted it. But later on, they fixed it by just uh, putting on a plastic on top. See? So before they were also doing. Some quick fixes, quick and cheap fixes. But we kept, and I'm so happy about this fact, we kept the old rafter in the middle of our roof. Uh, the initial plan was to replace it because uh, there was a crack in this beam. I'll show you on the, pic, on the picture. Uh, but yeah, it was also like two days uh, and evenings of desperate discussions how we can keep it and about the possibilities to keep this old rafters because they are amazing they are made out of oak and they are very very hard and good in a good state so we discussed with our roofer and he replaced the whole beam here uh, and some other small ones. It's actually pretty good that they, we have this break with uh, uh, before placing the isolation because we can uh, uh, treat this wood. We can clean it and uh, treat it with a special with a special um, product against um, hautworm go against insects. So I'm so happy that we have it right now, really. When I uh, the roof was up, I was so excited. It was still very wet downstairs. It was still water inside. And we, I was anxious about this water, how it will dry out. It's much better, by the way, right now. But I was so happy about that the roof is 
finally is being done something some something is was built and it looked amazing so really excited about the outcome i'm happy with our new windows with our old rafter rafter in the middle so really enjoy the result Another fail of this week, why I call this week the week when nothing goes as you plan. We ordered a skip uh, to remove uh, the rest of the roof and some uh, waste, construction waste. Uh, also, we plan to remove the ceiling here, but uh, right now we cannot, so it will stay there. But we, uh, the skip was already um, ordered and we decided okay we will find something there is a lot of uh, still uh, construction waste laying around and we we will find something and i will show you how uh, we uh, this skip is being filled up in the next video but <laughs> i won't normally i send them the picture where they sh uh, picture where they should put the skip and up to this point everything was fine but this time we I sent them the picture that it should be in our courtyard oh, and also with the pile where it should stand but this time they decided to surprise us and they placed the, con uh, the container here <laughs> oh that was uh, hilarious when I saw it <laughs> because actually right now if we would throw something away we would need to to collect waste from our courtyard run through the whole house actually behind the house with a wheelbarrow all the way and then here to actually throw something away and even more <laughs> that's my that's really like uh, the joke of their whole week their doors of the container are pointing into this direction so you have to even even run more this time <laughs> oh, it was really funny it, it was a surprise of yesterday right now I wrote them an e email that it's not possible for us to throw uh, throw the waste away so I hope they will will understand us and place it on the Monday in the correct place and they will extend uh, the whole period for a few more days and we will have time to uh, to throw everything away so that uh, was uh, really an interesting week for us yeah hi there uh, I need your help and or your advice about what we should use to repoint and fix our walls yeah let's explain I want to explain what I what I need so we have some bricks which is yeah which which is not in place and some loose mortar here and uh, yeah we need to repoint it yeah i checked youtube videos some white papers and uh have some advices what what we can what we can use so as uh there are few options one of them is to use a natural hydraulic lime uh, 3.5 and another one is 
uh, hot lime mortar uh, but it's still some questions as I understand uh, it's harder to cook hot lime mortar uh, that's why uh, yeah on professional level or on con uh, or contractors prefer to use with uh, NHL free dot, uh, dot five uh, for these cases uh, yeah but it's still question what is really best solution for us uh, because also as I understand uh, NHL is uh, is more harder and also it contains uh, some uh, cement inside so it's harder and it's less breathable but stronger so the question is what what I can use to repoint with to yeah to put with brick bags to repoint uh, with joints and also inside house we have some cracks and some bricks which also we want to replace uh, what is the best choice for us uh, so also another question related to uh, lime mortars how how they deal with iron bars because also i want to reinforce uh, reinforce some cracks some joints uh, using iron bars uh, is it fine or not uh, so yeah uh, yeah, thank you very much for your advices. I uh, pin the comment below the video so we can discuss this question what is the best solution for us. Thank you very much. Anakin, hot lime mortar or natural hydraulic lime mortar? Huh? What do you think?
like and subscribe.